Okay, geometry, we are here looking at a video mostly for some chapter one review because remember the chapter one dash two test, the chapter one and two test is really going to recycle that content from chapter one. So let's just do it. Um, we're looking at some multiple choice questions here. It says identify the choice that best completes the statement or answers the question. So what's the question? It says name two lines. All right, now, when we're talking about lines, they have to pass through a couple points, and we also call these lines by little arrows on the top and bottom, and it's given by two points, you know, one point here, one point here, like it could be line A, B, that's line segment. This would be line A, B, this would be line C, D, so let's look at what we have. I could automatically cancel out A and B because only C or D make sense because those have lines in them. Well, let's see what these are doing. Uh, let's see what these labels mean. This one says W, C, and W, T. So W, C, and W, T. Okay, well that's kind of different because that's really just the same line overlapping itself. But then let's see what the other one is, see if it's any better. Okay, so then the other one would be WC and CR. That would be the two lines there. Instead of just uh, giving me one line in two different ways, now it's naming two lines. So the answer then would be C, WC and CR. Okay, that was easy enough. Let's see what else we got in here. Let me scroll down a little bit. Let's look at these. Uh, this next one, it says, let's see, D is between C and E, C, E is 6X. So they basically are saying everything up here, but then it's in the picture there. All right, so this is an addition postulate. you got like this piece here, and then this piece here, and then together they equal the whole thing. So we need to do something plus something equals the whole thing. So the one piece is 4x plus 8, and then the other piece is 27, and then after that the whole thing is 6x. All right, so let's put things together, see what we get. So if we were to combine this 8 and 27, because they're on the same side of the equation, then we would have 4x plus 35, and then we got 6x on the other side. Now if we subtract 4x from both sides, we would have 35 equals... 2x or x equals 17.5 and you might be thinking um I don't see wait there it is but wait a second this says CE equals 17.5 and I have x equals 17.5 because when they tell me to find CE that means I really got to find what is 6x well x is 17.5 but CE is 6x which would be 6 times 17.5. Okay, so what do we do with that now? Well, 16 times, or 6 times 17.5, that's the same as 3 times 35, or, or 105. There you go. That would have been your answer. All right, let's, uh, let's do another one here. New color. The map shows a linear section of highway, th linear, that's interesting, section of Highway 35. Today the Abaras plan to drive 360 miles. So there they are. There's 360 miles from Springfield to Junction City. They will stop for lunch in Rosenberg, or Roseburg. I think this is Roseburg right here, which is at the midpoint. Ooh, that's an interesting word. If they have already traveled 55 miles this morning, how much farther... Must they travel before they top, stop for lunch? Okay, so if this is the middle, that means that SR and RJ are each two equal halves. So we're going to take 360. Let's split that in half. That means this side would be 180, and this side would be 180. So we have 180 for this first half before they get to the lunch at the beginning. And that means I have 55 plus this leftover, 55 plus something, is going to equal that first half 180. Well, let's figure out what that leftover would be. And I think that's what they're asking us, to figure out how much left do they have to travel. Well, if I subtract 55 from both sides, then I would get that that leftover is 125. And that is an option here. And that does make sense. If this is 125, then together that would make 180. 
which is where they would stop for their halfway point. So there you go, 125. All right, let's do another color. How about, how is green look? Dark green. Well, that's okay. Let's try dark green. K is the midpoint of JL. All right, now I'm already getting confused because all these other ones, they had pictures, and this one doesn't. So let's draw a picture. First of all, it says K is the midpoint, so I'm going to put that in the middle, and it labels the endpoints of this segment as JL, so I'll put those on the outside. JK says is 6X, KL is 3X plus 3. Well, the cool thing about midpoints is that each of these two halves is equal, so I'm going to say 6X equals 3X plus 3. And then I could subtract 3, or no, not subtract 3, leave that alone. How about subtract 3x? There you go. Get 3x equals 3x equals 1. So the answer is 1, right? Oh, no, that's not what they said. All right, so wait, there's 1, 1, and 2, but it's really asking us to plug that in so we can find the value for each of these. Well, this one here is 6 because it's 6 times 1, and that's 6. So let's see which ones have that. JK equals 6. There's only one that does that, and that's B. But just to confirm, let's check the other ones. This would be 3 times 1 plus 3. Or you could just say these two are equal, therefore it is also 6, which it is. And then the whole thing is 12. Okay, so we got 6 for JK, 6 for KL. All right, check, check, and 12 for the whole thing, because 6 plus 6 equals 12. So the answer would be B. So we got B for number four. And what did we get for this one right here? We got A for number three. And I don't even remember what we got up here. C for number two. All right, I'm going to scroll down here. So pause the video if you want to take a peek at that, because I'm going to just move right on. There we go. Scroll down a little bit here. Oh, that's it. That's the end of the first page. I guess we're going to finish there, and then we'll do the second video uh, separate. There we go. All right, so BD bisects. Ooh, that's kind of like midpoint bisects. That's like cut in half. And we're taking an angle, and we're cutting it in half. All right, let's see what that does. So we got angle A, B, C. And it's saying that BD is a ray that goes right through the middle. So that means D would be right here. Cool. It says ABD is 7X minus 1. And DBC, that's the other piece of that angle, is 4X plus 8. And it's asking me to find measure of angle ABD. It wants this one right there. All right, so because it's bisected, that means that it's cut in two equal halves. So that means that this one algebraic expression, the 7x minus 1, is also equal to the other one, which is 4x plus 8. All right, so we got that. Let's see where we can take it. Add 1 to each side, subtract 4x from each side, and you got 3x equals 9. Oh, this isn't too bad. It goes in nice and, nice and friendly-like. That gives us x equals 3. Um, so if x equals 3, they're asking us to find ABD. So if we plug that into here, we would get 7 times 3 minus 1, or 21 minus 1, or 20 for that. And that would be D, 20 degrees. Done. So that's the end of the first video. Um, I'll finish the rest in the next one. Have a good one.